One thing that I really want girls to know is that being smart is a part of being beautiful. Growing up, I kind of always, I always valued my education and academics and I was very academic, um, spent a lot of time in school and sometimes I would get teased for that, called a nerd and a dork, but I think that it's not something to be ashamed of. If you know the right answer to a question, raise your hand and really be proud of your intelligence and of your, your education. Um, that's just something that I think if girls embrace today, then you know what, who knows what could happen. Well, I'm originally from Florence, South Carolina, but then, like the middle of my freshman year in high school, we moved to Chapin, South Carolina. And both places, I mean, they were just great atmospheres to grow up in. In Florence, it, it was a small town, but not quite as small as Chapin, but I had like a really good core group of friends. It was right near all of my family. And I mean, it was just, you know, growing up in South Carolina, that good Southern culture. I feel like I have a lot of those values that have become a part of me because I grew up here. And then living in Chapin now, I mean, I absolutely love it. It's this little lake town. Um, it's right on Lake Murray. And I just have, we have one high school. And the whole town, I feel like, kind of revolves around like the high school, like what's going on Friday nights, everyone's at the game. So, you know, it's just good down, down Southern culture. Well, my first pageant, I was about, I think, 10 years old. And I just decided, you know, it looked like fun. I love wearing gowns and I liked, you know, just the idea of, feeling like Cinderella for a day. And so I competed for a couple times, but I never really immersed myself into pageant culture just because, I mean, it was just me and my mom. Um, she made all my gowns. She helped me get ready for interview. She taught me how to walk. So it was just, you know, a very casual thing between us. But when I was a teenager, I decided to compete for Miss South Carolina Teen USA. And, you know, I just had an absolute blast. I loved it. I loved getting to meet all of the girls from across South Carolina. Pageants have taught me that every person has a voice, and pageants in particular have given me a voice to really be a leader in my community. Um, before I did pageants, I was not very confident of myself. I had what I like to call the awkward years. From that experience, though, I kind of grew into, into my own throughout high school, and I learned a lot of things about self-confidence. I learned that, you know, my my inner beauty and my confidence does not stem from my appearance, rather it stems from my character. And so being in pageants, it's given me a voice to share that with other girls through my Live Beautifully campaign and you know that's what pageants have done for me, just has given me the, a position of leadership. Well Miss Teen USA is like the ultimate goal for any girl that's competing as a teen in pageants. I mean. It's been around since 1983. It's owned by Donald Trump, and if you win, you move to New York City, you have this glamorous year. And so leading up to the pageant, I knew all of that, and I wanted it. I really, really wanted to be Miss Teen USA. And so I just spent the whole summer and really the past two years getting myself ready and really thinking about what it would mean to my life and how it would impact my future and thinking about how I could impact the people around me as well with this title. So. I just, you know, I gave it my all. I had a blast in the Bahamas getting to know 50 other wonderful girls from across the nation. And, you know, it was just, it was, it's a surreal experience. South Carolina. So the first runner up is Mississippi. You know, when they called my name, I wasn't really ready for it, I don't think. I was kind of like, I just felt so calm and almost numb because I was, I was in the moment and I was, Oh gosh, see, thinking about it, I still don't have words to describe this moment because it is such an important part of your life. It was just like every emotion bombarding me at once after I finished that first walk. Well, coming home was amazing because I feel like it wasn't just my win, but it was a win for everyone because they are so much a part of my life. The Chapin community is, you know, it's, it's part of me. And so coming home was, I mean, I could just see everyone was so excited and they were also encouraging and supportive and so it was just amazing to feel that. One of my favorite quotes is, the journey of a, a thousand miles begins with a single step. I kind of repeated that to myself a lot this past year. It really gets me motivated to kind of get up and to, you know, to work hard because if you don't take that first step, then you'll never get to your eventual goal.